Okay, so now we're moving on to the next step. The next step says to start your encoder, but hold on, I want to hold off on that for a second because here is where things get interesting. Your encoder, Flash Media Live encoder, is going to be paying attention to a camera. Either the camera is your webcam or it's your computer screen, and we need to open up our camera software. If you're on a Mac, I recommend Cam Twist. Um, it's free and it works fantastic. It does everything that I would want it to do, and in my opinion, it's a it's a webinar killer. It, you can have a webinar if you want with this Cam Twist. Now, I also recommended ScreenCamera.net for PC. That's just one of many options, but what you need to do is you need to open that first because it's going to be paying attention to your camera. In my case, I'm using a webcam, which is fine for right now. Then, Flash Media Live Encoder is going to be paying attention to this software for um, the camera information, whatever you want to show on screen. So I open up that first, then I open up Flash Media Live Encoder. Let me bring it up here. So here's Flash Media Live Encoder. Make it a little bit smaller. Okay, Flash Media Live Encoder. Now let's go over some of this because it's kind of interesting and it looks confusing, but it's not too terribly bad. First thing we're going to do is we need to do our profile. Remember that profile that I downloaded? This one, download the profile. So what we need to do is in Flash Media Live Encoder, uh, you won't be able to see it on the screen, but I'm going to File, Open Profile. You only have two options, Open Profile and Save Profile. I'm doing Open Profile. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my profile here, select it, and click Open. Now we're going to get that profile validation error again. That's fine. Okay, now we are set up. Now let's take a look at some of these things here. First off, uh, we have two tabs, encoding options and encoding log. Encoding options breaks it down into video and audio. I want to show both. I want video uh, and audio, so my video device you can choose. Now uh, this option, this shows me uh, cam twist, which is fine. That's what I want. I also have many cam if I wanted to use that, but I don't, so I'm going to have cam twist. I also like to have H.264, that's great, works everywhere. Frame rate, I'm just sticking with 30. And input size, now the input size is the input size of cam twist, okay? So I just stuck, cam twist has preferences, and it says that's what the input size is, so that's what I'm going for with this. I want to make it as even as I possibly can. Um, I would stick with that for right now and then if you you can always change it to different dimensions if you wish but uh, stick with this for right now. Maintain aspect ratio should be on. That's great. Now we have bit rate. The bit rate, this is all in here with the profile so the bit rate is set to 2000 which is fine and then the output size is actually a little bit larger than my input size but that's okay because the output size this I've tried to change this, and if I make it smaller, um, YouTube says I can't. We can't work with anything smaller than this output size. So this is the smallest output size I, I have as an option. So I go with this, and that's this is actually great size. So I'm not complaining. Um, if I wanted to, I can crop the shot. I can deinterlace and time code it. Don't worry about any of that. Just leave it unchecked. Now we have audio, and the audio we can choose what microphone we want to use. I have a Yeti microphone, so I would choose that, but I'm using that for the screen recording, so I'm not going to right now. I like to choose mono because um, it, people are listening on headphones. We don't need stereo anyway. I'm not recording in stereo. When I change it to mono, the little audio meter goes from two stereo meters to one mono meter, which is fine. Sample rate, I'm just going to leave the sample rate how it is. Bit rate, if I wanted to, I could maybe make drop this down to 112 or 96. This is just audio. It's not really taking up too much information, so I'm not going to change any of, this, any of those settings other than to mono. Um, then we have total video, one. That's one stream plus audio bit rate is about right around 21, 28, so that's a perfect size. Let's see, 2,000 
plus 128 comes over 2128. All right, now on the right hand side of that, you can see we have. Well, first off, we have, if you can see these screens over here, I have two screens moving around, and there is something moving around because I'm showing my desktop. Let me make these smaller, and it might make a little bit more sense. So what I did was, here's the input. This is what Flash Media Encoder is getting, and then the output. So everything is similar. Everything is the same. and I'm moving Flash Media Encoder around my desktop, and you can see that. If I wanted to, you could also see me, but I'm going to put it back on desktop. Okay. Now, under input video, output video, I can turn these off if I don't want to see it, but that's I'm going to leave it on. Panel options, output, this is what I want to pay attention to. All of this stuff is all set up. Stream to Flash Media Server. You don't have to worry about this URL looking thing. You don't have to worry about backup. And this stream URL information is the profile that we saved to our computer and the profile that I opened in Flash Media Live Encoder. There's a connect thing here, connect button here. Um, don't push that because when we click the start button, it will connect. When we start in streaming, when we start encoding, the encoding log will start running, and I'll show you more about that in a second. So let's go back to YouTube now because we are ready to get rolling, but there's one thing that I have to change. I started this, I scheduled this for one minute ago, and now we've missed that so I'm just gonna change it up to one more minute it'll change the settings and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our live control room this is the last step before we start streaming okay so first off I'm getting an error we are not receiving data from your encoder please make sure it isn't configured well that's because we haven't started it yet but we're ready to start so I'm gonna do that so I'm gonna click start and once I click start, it jumps over to the encoding log. There's information here, and it's letting me know that, here we go, here's the bit rate, it's encoding video and audio, it's, and it's dropping frames, it's not dropping frames, drop frames is a bad thing, it means it's skipping some frames, and here's our big stop button. So, that has to be running, and I can monitor that, that is whatever is going on on my screen, but what we need to do now is we need to go into YouTube land. So I'm back in my live control room, and we have three steps. Start the encoder, preview the stream, and we're live. So I'm going to click preview. And a box is going to come up. Are you sure you want to preview this live event? It may take a few seconds. So that's fine. Now they're preparing my live stream. Stream status is good. Here's 480p. That's what I chose. And the health is good. So those are all good looking things. Now scroll down and we have two windows. A preview window and this is my video. And I can click this and wait for this to see if it's going to start loading up. Also, I'm going to mute it because I don't want to have it popping up in my ears. And then we have the public view. And I'm not going to click play on that, on that just yet because I want to make sure that things are going good with the preview. Now, it does take a little while, so I'm pushing it because I should be starting this live right now and it's already late. So you have to do this ahead of time. I like to do it five minutes to ten minutes ahead of time make sure everything is good. So here's this, nothing's going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh the page just to make sure. Sometimes that, that kind of kicks things into gear. I'm going to click play again. And there's a little red live mark there. So I'm going to click start streaming. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to view on the watch page in a new tab. And while that's loading up, right here, your event is starting. I have a red stop streaming button. That means I am live, and it even says here live, and it's been live for about nine seconds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now come to the watch page. And it takes a little while. I mean, it's got a it's, it has its own delay uh, because of the encoder and all of that, but it looks like it's loading up right now. And uh, let's see. Here we go. So there, there is my screen, and it is started. I can skip ahead. I don't. I can't skip ahead because there's not any. There's nothing else to go to. Now, when people are on this on this watch page, they can leave comments. You, as the person who set up the event, you're a moderator, so you can post as well. I just posted hello all, and there it comes up in red. 
Um, I can also flag myself if I wanted to. You can also designate other moderators, so maybe somebody else can be handling these comments for you. You can type in their username or email and they will be contacted and then they can be a moderator as well. Uh, so that is it. My event is live. I'm excited. All of the same stuff is going on. People are asking questions. I'm speaking. I'm cutting to, to cameras and, and so on and so forth. Here's my preview still going. And um, that's it. So let's say that I am now finished. Um, that's great. That's, I'm done now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my live control room. Always keep this open and then click stop streaming. Are you sure you want to stop streaming? You will not be able to restart. Okay. So what it's going to do is it's going to stop the stream, but it will finish until I click, until I click that button, until I click stop stream. Now, my Flash Media Live Encoder is still going. I can click stop on that now. because we are done with that. So that's gonna think, it's stopping. You can see it in the left, left it's stopping, and that's it. So that is stopped. YouTube Live has stopped. I can turn off my camera settings if I want as well. And that's it, we are done. Now what YouTube is going to do, YouTube will create a video and have it uploaded in the video manager. It's going to take a little while. There, there we go. There's one. Um, I like to look at my live events, upcoming event, completed events. And there we go. There's the one I just did, the new event one. And so that will be uh, processed. And it already is. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through, make sure it's playing. And there we go. Okay, so that is it. That's how you do that. That is YouTube Live. If you have any questions, let me know.